Brighton Outdoor Adventures from Nashville, Tennessee to Nashville, Indiana. a little bit about your new purchase here recently. I've got a 2023 PGA Junk Trailer, 14 foot, 14,000 pound, 7,000 pound axles. Got the three-way gate. Got the tarp system. It's a telescopic. It doesn't have the scissors. It is telescopic. Got it from Maze Trailers in Whiteman, Indiana. All right. Give them a call. They're pretty good guys. So this is the uh, basically the gate. Yep. The swings gate. Well, swings like open. This gate. It's got two locks. Some trailer companies just has one on the bottom. It may be all right. I have no idea, but I like the security of two. Got the doors. Slide them out. It's got a pin. I saw that engage. That pin engaged as soon as the uh, gate went around. And just release the gate. Shut them. You have no chains. No hooks to have to hook up. Then it's got the dump gate. Yeah. So when you dump it, the gate will. I see. Oh, I see. The dump gate. That's nice. I didn't know that was there. That way you can dump it, whatever. Yeah, for gravel, gravel and dirt. And then we got the ramps. Yeah. They're stored here with the little door. Little ramps. We're gonna have to try that out here in a little bit. Yes, we are. That's another video. <laughs> That's another video. That's right. Got the tarp system with the lock on it. It's spring loaded lock. Huh. I noticed a lot of people complain that their uh, lock just yeah. keep on locking and then rolls it. This one stays put, then locks there. Nice. We have, I think it's a 10,000 pound, 12,000 pound support capacity, 10,000 pound lift capacity trailer jack. Yeah. It's got the uh, spring loaded trailer hitch you can push down so that way you don't have to crank it all the way down. Yeah. It's got the telescopic. Now what's the difference? What's the difference between the telescopic hydraulics versus the, what's the other mechanism? Well, so the scissor lifts, they're, they're fine. But the problem is, what a lot of people is having with them, if you have a load too far up front, yeah, the scissor lifts have a hard time lifting the trailer from the start. Ah, okay. Because your scissor lift is about right here. All right. Is where it starts. So, so it's about, you have much above it. About three quarters of the way back. Yeah. With the, uh, cylinder up front it doesn't matter it doesn't uh, bog down no matter what load you have on it of course you know normal load all right uh coal buckets dump trucks has been using that for well over 50 years well, you should know about dump trucks yeah i've done it for about 20 years yeah and it's got the i-beam frame with the i-beam frame it goes all the way to the back yeah you were telling me about that earlier some some manufacturers will stop about halfway maybe two-thirds then their box this one here has the i-beam going all the way back yeah it has the uh 10 gauge floor and wall this is made the wall and the floor is one sheet it's two sheets actually you got this one it folds they bend it here they meet that one they bring that one overlap it then they do multiple welds down the middle. So everything meets in the middle is what you're saying. Yeah. Versus those Versus the 90 sides, degree and there's no seam corners there. and the sides. No there's no seams. seam there to get water sitting. That makes sense. And it's got the tie downs on the side. They're not in the floor to hold material up. They're on the side of the trailer. Ah, I see. So. Those little tie downs right there. Yeah. A lot of, put, a lot of them. Put One in each floor. corner. Huh? Looks like one in each corner. Yeah, one in each corner. All right. Then you got the two and five eighths ball. A lot of people will recognize this locking system for your company. It's a really good trailer company. 
You can unhook that, leave it in the lock position as you lower it. This will raise up and lock on its own. No pin needed. Right. I had no trouble with that. So we need to remind everybody that Brayton is not sponsored by PJ Trailers. No, I'm not. Believe me, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just showing off a uh, piece of equipment that he just recently purchased. Adjustable hitch. Yeah. And then in here. You're going to see this in another video, maybe. They come with the uh, interstate battery on them. 550 cra co-cranking amps. You have battery. the recharger here. Oh, yeah. That shows your amount of charge and everything on the, very, on the other side of that, the 110 hookup. You have the pump. You have a metal tank. Well, whether that ends up being a good thing or bad thing against the plastic, we'll find out. That's the hydraulic fluid? Yep. That's the hydraulic fluid. Right. Comes with, yeah. It comes with the rope for the tarp if you want to pull the tarp yourself all the way down. Then it comes with the lift. So that's the remote that comes with it, right? That's wrong. Comes with it, and it does have gravity down. That okay. way, it's not using your battery to lower. The trailer. I never thought about that. Like That's a pretty good idea. Uses the pump to lower. This is gravity down. Yeah. That way you're not using your battery. Anymore. Good deal. You have to. It's got a magnet on the back. I just stick it on the back of the wall, wherever. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You got the remote now. And then, on top of that, what me and Phil put on the remote lift on it so that way you can sit in the truck if it's raining if you're spraying stone or something hit the key bob up and the same thing hit go down it's just on your key fob yeah it's like a little nice. key bob it comes with a nice. little bitty i don't know what boat battery it is but their batteries are yeah. changeable and uh and all that goes in that box there yep Yep, you have that right. There's the re there's the receiver right here. Then on that side is the antenna. Oh, I see. That's your antenna right there. It actually hooks up in to the factory, so you have both ways. You can use this or so plug and play. And it's ground hot, and you're done. All right. So Pretty simple. Yep. If we did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. If we can do it. Yep. If we can do it, you can do it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we just wanted to uh, show you um, Brayton's recent purchase here. It's the PJ dump trailer from PJ Trailers. And uh, really, it looks like a nice manufactured piece of equipment. It makes a lot of sense, the uh, quality points. That he mentioned on the uh especially the the uh trailer bed and how they only have one seam going down through the middle and uh you know some of the other features that are on there so and the telescopic also will go up a lot higher than the scissor lift oh okay it's got a lot more of an angle Wow, that's high. It's got all the cross bracing underneath. Yeah, I see. Your ramp storage here. What I like about this, what I personally like about it is, there are some trailer companies that this is almost closed in. Yeah. Which to me would hold mud and dirt. And mud, dirt, water, and never yeah. dry out. And it could possibly rust where that's basically just ramp holders. Yeah cleaned out a lot easier. Does this have a brake system on it too? Yep, it's got the brake system for, on each axle. The electric brakes plugs in right with the truck. Yeah, I saw that. It's got the heavy duty main wiring harness. It's not any cheap thing. And right. if you ever want to, which I'm not going to because I don't have the brace up, they're quick connects. Oh, like yeah. if you need to change, some reason damage your 
wiring there you can click connect that then also the same back back there it quick connects all that wiring really well uh ran and hidden and protected so i like that i-beam system that one straight single i-beam that makes sense too i didn't realize those trailer companies only went halfway and then uh cheapened it the rest of the way out so that's uh brighton's new dump trailer just wanted to show y'all uh his new purchase that he just recently uh, picked up so hope you enjoyed that and uh it comes highly recommended by brighton pj trailers even <laughs> though he's not getting anything out of it no nope. and uh, he bought it down here in whiteland indiana from may's may's trailer may's trailer so anyway thanks for joining us today hope you enjoyed the video brighton here from outdoor adventures god bless y'all and Y'all have a great day. Have a fun day.